Hey YouTube, it's Michelle. I wanted to do items I used up this month. Um, it's not that much. I just feel I have a little box and I just filled it up and I wanted to do it now before it got really out of hand. Anyway, and to my giveaway winner, um, it's being sent out after this weekend. I know I haven't sent it out yet. I was waiting for a soap um, from Lush to come in the mail. I'm sorry, spoiler alert, I know. But um, I've got you my favorite soap. So I ordered you one of those and I was waiting for that to come in the mail. And I'm also going out tomorrow because I wanted to pick up a couple more things because I was going to do just 10 items, like I said, like the basic. Oh, sorry, Desi. But um, the box was almost full and I was like, you know what? We're just going to fill this box up and have fun with it. What's wrong with my dog here? No. You're acting funny. Okay. Anyway, so I'm just going to... Easy. What? He's acting funny. You want to say hello? Say hello. I'm a little doggy. Anyway, Desi. He's acting weird. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to fill the box up this weekend and then I'm going to mail it out to you probably Tuesday because that's my early shift from work. So, um, that's the game plan. I didn't forget about you. I don't want you to feel that way. It's just, that's, um, the game plan. Anyway, I'm going to start off. I only used up one candle. Um, I burned more candles, but they were candles I made, and they, they were just little wax blobs I had to show. Like, look, I made this. It looks like crap, and I burned it, so I didn't want to do that. But the candle that I did burn that I did not make was this Yankee Candle Almond Cookie. It is heavenly. It is just divine. Oh, when they come out with the scent again, I'm definitely um, getting more. It is just so good. It reminds me of Christmas and cookies from my childhood, so that is delicious. Next, and I know you've seen me hauls before. This is like my favorite. I love this stuff, and I highly recommend this brand to anybody. This is the Pure Silk Shaving Gel. I love it so much better than Skin to Me. It's just such a thick lather, <laughs> and my dog is freaking. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna show you real quick. I know you've seen my room tour of my art room, but um, Desi is freaking out right now because of the doll and my mannequin head over there it is driving her absolutely insane which is kind of funny um because from where she's saying she's never seen it before anyway this is the pure silk for sensitive skin it is so much better than the um in my opinion the skin to me because it's a thicker lather and you don't nick yourself as much and it smells really nice too it is made by barbasol but it doesn't smell anything like the male barbasol it's really nice and it's really reasonably priced as well they come in different scents but this is the one i lean towards and i totally recommend this to anybody next and this was part of my um oh i forget what they call it When you're purging through items, I know there's a word that they use here on YouTube. This is very uncomfortable. I love you too. You gotta give me a minute. But when you're going through items that you only have like a half bottle use and you re you won't buy anything else until you use it up. I forget what that's called. But anyway, um, I did that with this. This is the Sea Breeze Sensitive Skin. Um, it's basically a toner. And it's not bad. It's It can be kind of drying even though it says for sensitive skin. Um, especially now since I use um, my tea tree toner from Lush. It says without drying, but it does dry your skin out a little bit. You definitely need to moisturize right after using this stuff. Do I feel fresh and clean after using it? Yes, but it does dry your skin out a little bit. I used to use it as a teenager, but I find now as an adult, um, this doesn't really fit my needs as much. Would I purchase it again? Probably, um, because it does do the job. And if I run out of my tea tree toner, I probably will purchase another one of these. Even though that was... Oh, Project Pan. Even though this was on my pan list. Next, I'm just grabbing randomly. I have three um, pack packs that I used up. First one is I Love Cookie Dough. I'm sure you've seen this before. It's delicious. It smells just like cookie dough. It's heaven. Um, this we went through really quick at work because everybody loved the smell of it. Next one is Dragon's Blood. And I bought it because of the dragon, because my name is Dragon Princess, and I love dragons. Um, I just love the picture on it. I'm trying to figure a way of taking that sticker off without destroying it, because I think it's so cute. And the smell was really nice as well. Kind of a plummy. It doesn't say what smell it is, but it's kind of a plum scent, but it was really nice. And the next one is Confetti Cake. Not as good as the cookie dough, but it has a cute little chihuahua on it, which I thought was absolutely adorable. 
but it did smell really good. It was very sweet as well. Very nice. I love you, Desi. Yes. Finally, I used up, and you can look how old the bottle is. Um, I had this at my desk for a long time, and we finally finished using it up um, a few days ago. This is the Paris Amour. As you can see, it's the old bottle. But love it. Very nice. I have another old bottle that I'm currently using in my bag now, and it's also really good. And you'll see that when I finally use it up. But I finally finished that one. Next, I have used up a green bubble rune from Lush. This one actually was really cool. I really like the smell of it. It didn't bubble as much as I had hoped it would, but it was still pretty good. I really did enjoy it. But it didn't bubble up as some of the other ones did, and I have used like the Rose Jam one as well. I, this one I didn't like as much. Next, I used up my sample of Sand Soap. It's a scrubby citrus soap. Um, it's good, but the only thing that stinks is that you have to clean up the sand afterwards. But I did like the scrubbiness of it. It smelled great. I like anything citrusy. But that was the only downfall was cleaning up the sand. Next, a friend of mine bought this for me. And this is called Party Candy. And I used it up. Um, this is supposed to be like Prada candy. It's not bad. I know you can get it at Five Below. And I think at Big Lots sells this. And I'm sure there's other stores out there as well. Um, it's not bad. It's really nice and sweet, and I used it at work. Um, pretty much it. It's not bad. It's not exactly party uh, product candy, but it's really nice. If you like sweet scents, you would really enjoy this. Next is, I gotta get another one of these because I love putting this in the bath. Um, this is my Pure Cocoa Butter. It's a all-natural, all-purpose moisturizer. It comes in a big chunk, and I've talked to you about this, guys, um, this product before. It smells just like chocolate. And this is edible as well. You can eat it. Um, it don't taste disgusting or anything like that. But I take chunks of this because it's, it's hard like chocolate. And I put it in my bath. And I use that kind of like a bath melt from Lush. I put my own glitter in there and stuff like that as well. Um, but it's very good. I got this at the health food store for $7.99. I paid for this. But this lasted me years because you don't need much at all. You can use it as a moisturizer on your face as a lotion. It's got multiple uses. Uh, strongly recommend if you can find a pure cocoa butter like this. I totally recommend getting one because it is so versatile. You can do so much with it. It's really good stuff. So if you can find it, totally go and get it. Next, this guy I got from Yaj Rocher. And I have one more. This was also on my project pan list. This is Vigital Incital targets the first signs of aging um, polishing mousse cleanser from Yaz Rocher. Um, it's basically a cleanser with little blue microbeads that you just massage and it's supposed to help with early signs and wrinkles. No, I don't have wrinkles yet. Um, I'm still young, but targeting early, targeting it early on um, will keep you from looking like a Sharpe later on in life. So I do use anti-aging formula stuff occasionally to slow that process down. We all age. We're all going to get wrinkles, guys. Um, I will probably never do the injections because that freaks me out. I don't like needles as is. Having an injection that close to my face just freaks me out even more. So I use products like this. And um, this was really nice. And I got this. It was like, it was a two for deal on um, Yaz Rocher. And I really like their website as well. Because they have, they get, you get free stuff all the time, like with every order, and they always have something awesome going on. So Yaz Rocher is really cool. Um, you can see the name down there. I don't know if you can see it. Yaz Rocher. You can find them online, but they have awesome stuff, and they always have awesome deals going on. Hi, Desi. Almost done. Next, I love this stuff too, but to get it is a pain in the neck, unfortunately. It's okay. Give me a second. I promise. Anyway, this is... <laughs> She's so happy. I just got home from work. This is Deja Vu Green Tea Luxury Bath Scrub made out of Dead Sea Salt Mineral. <laughs> oh, are you okay? This stuff is amazing, but this is always at those counters in the mall with the people that annoy like, oh, free sample, free sample, try, and they try to get you in and they sucker you. So getting it is a pain in the ass. It smells so good, and it works so good. Believe it or not, I know using scrubby stuff on eczema is not smart, but this stuff actually helps my eczema, and it is awesome. 
you can talk them down too. You can wheel and deal with the guys at the um, little stands. But this stuff is absolutely incredible. Um, I love it. The only thing I don't like is going there because they always try to bamboozle you. It's the only thing I don't like about the product is their sales representatives, but the stuff is so good. And Dead Sea Salt has so many minerals. It's so rich and it's so good for you. If, it is pricey, guys. But like I said, wheel and deal with them. Sometimes you can get a free lotion out of it and stuff like that. But it's so good. I, I think it's called something else now, but at the time it was called Deja Vu. I've had this for years and it's taken me this long to use it up. But it's incredible stuff. Next, I used up this lotion. It was on my desk for a while. This is Paris Nights. Again, um, it's an old one. I have a lot of the older ones. And I just use them, you know, in no particular order. Um, a very nice scent, actually. It's not as good as the Sweet on Paris. It's a dark, you know, like a sensual nighttime scent. Obviously, Paris Nights. So that was really nice. Then I used up a uh, Shimmy Shimmy. But this one was old, so it kind of like, it didn't smooth glide on the skin. But what I did was I took little chunks of it and I put it in my bath water and that was really nice. So that's another use for your shimmy shimmy if you don't want to be covered in disco ball-y. Um, take little slivers, like I mean sliver, like shave it down into your bath and it's really nice. And it makes the bath smell good. Next, I used up this New York Color Sky Rise. Um, not bad, it's $1.99, at least at my CVS it was. Um, it does the job. I'm not too impressed. It doesn't really make them that much longer. It just makes them look like there's mascara on them. But it's not a bad, um, mascara either. It's decent. I mean, for, you get what you pay for. Could be worse. Next one is my Bonjour Pink Bloom Pack Back. And I like this one because it's got the glittery little poodle on it. It smells like blossoms. It's really nice. And this one had glitter in it as well. Three more items. This one was the pear shower gel. I used it as um I used it as a bath, a bubble bath. I'll probably be picking this up tomorrow. It smells so good. It smells just like a fresh pear. So it was just a little sample that I got that day when I got my free candle. But um it smells just like a pear. It's so good. Two more things, guys. This one is Aqua Blossom antibacterial deep cleansing hand soap smells so good i love it so much i don't know what she's barking at just i love this it reminds me of cape cod because i used the um pack back when i was at cape cod and it's just so good there's nothing there that's a poster and the last but certainly not least is my coconut lime breeze shea shower gel i used this as a bubble bath and it just made the whole bathroom smell incredible I wish we had smell of vision because you'd be like in love if you love coconut that is ah oh, so good mm. anyway guys that is it for my items that I've used up this month ish sort of month thing um not as much as last time because I waited too long last time to do this video <laughs> really stunk because I had so much I was like two-parter Ooh, so bad anyway guys um now i'm hearing things i better get it going anyway um i will see you soon and i'm hearing it's really bothering me like in the other room so i gotta go check that out guys i will talk to you later and i will see you soon so take care bye